30 to 10 of Doctor's Day, Wednesday of Doctor's Day, and uh, well, it's an important day for Tilpa. We have all our patients with aches and pains, and we have a uh, one person uh, take it in turns every clinic, get the cattle on, and one thing or another. Uh, uh, Herb, by name, uh, Herb Hemley. Well, they're flying doctors a great service, and so we couldn't we couldn't survive in the bush without them. We do our best. There's a lot of functions get run around here, and the rallies and that we have, and uh, a lot of that goes to the flying doctor. Uh, now you've got, I was still two in front of you, so when you see Luke come out of the doctor's room, yeah. you can go in there then, okay? okay. Rightio, okay. Thank you. Yep. It's a full day when you come in and do clinic, but uh, it, it, it's, it's fun too, it's a social day as well. I think sometimes, some of us come in, we don't, probably don't need to see the doctor, but it's just the social aspect and we come in and catch up with everybody as well. I guess living out in the bush, you'd have five things that are probably really dear and special to you. And of course it's your family and your property. You'd have your bush community, which is a big your network. School of the Air to educate your children. You'd have your RFDS, that's your, that's your, your health and well-being for you even to still be here. They're, they're icons of the bush and they're important things. And they, they mean a lot to those that live here. And the things that you just don't want to lose. I was realising that something wasn't quite right with, with my body. I think everybody's quite in tune with themselves and I had signs and symptoms that, that weren't right but I was too scared to go and approach somebody until it got to the stage where I had no choice. It was um, up at the Tilpa, Tilpa clinic that um, the doctor first said to me, I don't really like the look of this, I think we'll, we'll go further. I was running in the clinic and Belinda rang and she said, Jules, she said, I really need to see the doctor. I said, oh, yeah, sure, mate, no worries. And it was sort of out of the blue a bit. And um, so she came up and, and Belinda went straight in and saw Bill. So she was in there for quite some time and, and I was sort of starting to get a little bit concerned. I thought, gosh, I... eventually she came out and um, I went out and I said, oh, how'd you get on? So Bill wants me to go to Broken Hill and have a colonoscopy straight away. I um, came home here and had a chat to Todd and I went into Broken Hill and there was a lovely senior surgeon that had been contacted to please come and see me and uh, yeah, within a half an hour he was in my room, shut the door and said, I'm really sorry to tell you that you have a tumour that is so big that's blocking your bowel we need to get you to Adelaide before you burst. Her life changed and, and I guess our lives changed fairly quickly too in that you know we had a friend with cancer and probably it was the first time anyone in our community of a youngish age had, um, had, had been diagnosed with cancer so. Because the kids were so young I was, was quite concerned about them but I think once again with my positive outlook, they were feeding off my vibes. Had chemo for six months. There was a lot of running around, a lot of my life was my life was determined by doctors, oncology appointments, CT scans, regular blood tests, and that happened for, for several years. It's, um, yeah, so once I finally kicked 2000 and 11, we were motoring along quite nicely and had a routine scan done early 2013 to unfortunately be told that I had cancer back. There were three particular things that I remember saying to Todd. I said, one, I'm determined to see all the children turn 21. Two, choose Emma's wedding dress with her and to become a grandmother. And I'm very, very blessed to have done all of those bar seeing will turn 21 now. <laughs> yeah. And uh, two years ago, I had, uh, had the all clear for, for five years. So that was fantastic. Yeah, my life is mine again. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Keep these uh, grandchildren coming and I'll be right. <laughs>
obviously there was something very wrong and um, but you know having the flying doctor there that day it was um, it really helped get the ball rolling and 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 then the you know the aftercare that um, came with that the doctor responded in a in a magnificent manner it's amazing where you can pull strength from when you need to it's um, it's a bit like running on an adrenaline I suppose you just you do it and it's uh, it yeah, it become it's natural it, yeah you just do it I'm very grateful to the flying doctor not only for myself but and our family but as as a, a whole like the outback they're just an amazing service we really are extremely lucky to have them around the place those flying people in the air as they call them are just magic. <laughs>